Hey friends, today is gonna be the best day ever because we're throwing the best party ever and you are here just in time to celebrate with us. We are having a party to celebrate Jesus because Jesus is the best ever. Everyone say that with me. Jesus is, Jesus is, the best ever. The best ever. All right, so I brought a special party bag and I can't wait to show you what's inside. Party hats. These are gonna look great on us. Ooh, you look excellent. Now we're ready for a party. You can't have a party without a little music. Let's all stand up and sing together. with God was broken because of all the wrong things people do. But God promised to send someone to fix our friendship with him. So God sent his very own son, Jesus. While Jesus was on earth, he was friends with everybody. He would listen to people, heal them if they were sick, and help them in any way they needed. One time, Jesus even wrapped a towel around his waist and washed his friend's dirty feet. Jesus was perfect and never did anything wrong. Everywhere he went, Jesus was showing love to God and to others. One day, Jesus and his friends were getting ready to go into the city for a big celebration. They were going to have a party and celebrate how much God loved them. Jesus asked his friends to find a donkey for him to ride into the city, and they found him one right away. People heard that Jesus was coming, and they were so excited to see him. They made a special path for him to ride down. And they even cut branches off the palm trees and waved them for Jesus. The people believed that Jesus had come to save them. So they shouted, Hosanna, which means save us. Later that week, Jesus was having one last dinner with his friends. Every year, God's people would eat this special meal together and talk about how much God loved them. Jesus gave them some of the bread to eat, and he gave them something to drink. Then he told them that whenever they eat this special meal each year, they should remember him 
and what he was about to do for them. You see, some of the leaders in the city were jealous of Jesus. They did not like how excited the people were to see him. They wanted to put a stop to all that Jesus was doing, so they made a plan to have Jesus killed. They arrested Jesus and made him carry a heavy cross to the top of a hill. Then they nailed him to the cross for everyone to see. This hurt Jesus, but he was willing to do it for us because he loves us. When Jesus was on the cross, he was taking the punishment for all of the wrong things that each of us do. Then, on that sad Friday, Jesus died. This seemed like the worst day ever, but God had a good plan. When Jesus died, his body was put inside a tomb, and the tomb was closed up with a big, heavy stone. But on Sunday, the ground began to shake, and an angel came and rolled the stone away. That morning, two of Jesus' friends came to check on the tomb. But when they arrived, they saw the angel sitting on top of the stone. The angel said, Don't be afraid. I know you were looking for Jesus, the one who was killed on the cross. But he is not here. He has come back to life. As they ran to tell all of Jesus' friends the good news, they saw Jesus. He really had died on the cross and come back to life. They bowed down and worshiped Jesus for what he had done. They knew that Jesus had fixed their friendship with God forever. Because Jesus did this for everyone, he is the best ever. Wow, Jesus loves us so much and that's why he is the best ever. Say this with me. Jesus is... Jesus is... The best ever! The best ever. Good job. Let's see what else is in our special Easter party bag. <gasps> it's an Easter egg! That must mean it's time for an egg hunt! Stay in your seats and help me look for different colored eggs. First, let's look and find a green egg. Do you see one anywhere? With all your heart Love 